In this video, we're going to show how to send Litecoin from a JAX wallet to a GDAX uh, exchange. So, I've got the JAX wallet uh, Chrome extension installed. Click that to open it. And in the background, I've got the GDAX uh, exchange application in my Chrome web browser. Um, in the wallet here, we just need to go to Litecoin. We see in this Litecoin wallet, we've got one Litecoin available, and we're going to go ahead and send this uh, this one Litecoin. We're going to send this over to this GDAX account. So, in order to send a Litecoin from your JAX wallet, you're just going to click Send. Make sure you choose the the coin that you want to send. So, we've chosen. Um, Litecoin, just click send here, and then it's going to ask you for a receiving address and an amount. So if you're sending out to an exchange like GDAX, then you're going to want to need to get an address for that. So in GDAX, the way you get an address is by going to the deposit option, and that's because you're going to want to deposit funds into GDAX. So you click deposit and they give you their bank account uh, information here but we're not going to be doing that because we have Litecoin that we're going to send so we click on LTC address they say, they give you this address here they say go ahead and send LTC to this address and it will be available in your account so we'll copy this we'll open the Jack's wallet back up let it load Make sure we select the Litecoin wallet, click send, and paste in the, the address. Now for amount, we could choose any amount that's, you know, we could do 0.5 Litecoin or as long as we have enough in the account, but we can't send one because there's going to be a minor fee. And so that's why Jax is, that's what this uh, is about here, is telling us this is the max that we can send. And says the spendable balance is the max amount that you can spend or that you can send out of your wallet. It's less than your actual balance, and it starts here talking about the mining fees. It says please note that Bitcoin fees are much higher than what they used to be due to the rise in popularity of Bitcoin. So, um, given this statement here, this is why we're doing this tutorial. Uh, using Litecoin. It's a little bit cheaper. So we'll click the max button and we're gonna slice off down here. It tells us we got about 60, $62.99 so it tells us that the estimate is about mm, 25 cent to actually do this this send transaction. So once everything's in place we got the account, we have the amount, click send. We get a confirmation down here Receiving address, we want to always double check that. QT, QT, LP, LP. And then here's the mining fee in Litecoin. Click confirm. Transaction sent. We see our account balance go down to zero. And if we come back over to, well, here we go. We got a transaction that just popped up. Tells us that it's sent. We got a transaction ID. This link here to this transaction ID, if we click this, it'll take us to um, the, a Litecoin block explorer. So we could do that. This is a Litecoin. Uh, this is a Litecoin block explorer. This block cipher. They uh, also support other blockchains, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin. And this particular URL here is showing us this Litecoin transaction that our transfer was included in. Happened about a minute ago. We've got one confirmation. So we'll exit out of here and see if we close this see if we can get an update inside of GDAX. 
no update just yet. Open jacks back up. Just see if there's any additional information. We still we don't have a con we're not confirmed in a block yet. And um, so at this point we just need to wait. Uh, it'll take a. I've seen it take up to maybe three or four minutes before just the the actual transaction has to be included in a block and so that's that can take some time so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pause this video and uh, we'll launch back and we'll see how long it's going to take us to get this transaction uh, to actually show up on the um, on the GDAC side all right we're back here and we've got the Litecoin that came through it's credited to the GDAX account and we come back here and we refresh we just got the six confirmations and looking at this uh, transaction on the the block explorer block cipher now one thing that I took a look at after we got off or during that period waiting period was if you go back and you look at deposits and you look at Litecoin and you read this processing time down here Litecoin network transfers will be credited to your account after six network confirmations so that's exactly what we saw refresh this this guy had six plus and right when that happened we uh we saw the Litecoin come through so I ended up sending one Litecoin but I had to lost about 0.4 mining fees we go back into Jax, take a look at the transaction history, see if Jax is going to update for us. That's just for the balance. So Jax, ultimately what Jax has to do before before we'll get our updated information is they've got to sync with the blockchain. Yep, there it comes through. So we've got six plus and we've got our block number that we were confirmed in. Now if you didn't if you were unsure, you were getting nervous, you wanted to you wanted to make sure the transaction, you know, the state of the transaction and Jax wasn't fast enough for you, then you can always click on the the link here to go to the block explorer and see uh, what the block explorer is um is displaying for the for the transaction. Uh, Block Explorers, they're designed to handle a lot more um, uh, faster queries and such, where they can return the information a lot faster than a lot of the wallets. Um, so that so that's a good uh, good thing to do is to use the Block Explorers to check your account and your transactions. And that uh, that finishes up this demonstration for uh, sending Litecoin to GDAX using a Jack's wallet.